Fest 2006 in fabulous San Francisco, California, and I'm here with Marvin Caesar, president of Apex Systems. How are you doing, Marvin? I'm doing great. We're here to talk about uh, the Anaconda, the world's, as it says right here, the world's best remote-controlled preamp with the world's best snake. Marvin, why don't you tell our uh, viewers, what do you mean by the world's best uh, you know, remote-controlled preamp and the world's best snake? Uh, it's a system, and we've had the remote control preamp out for a number of years already, uh, and we've had a lot of applications, uh, ranging from Super Bowls uh, to uh, the ADR stage at Sony Pictures to the Oprah Winfrey Show uh, to all the Cirque du Soleil shows. But uh, the idea of uh, remote control is that uh, the uh, mic preamps are going to be far away. And the question has always come up, how do we get the audio from these remote preamps back to the front of house position, for example? And that's where the snake came in. So we developed a snake to answer that question. And is this, uh, uh, do you see uh, uh, maybe an uh, uh, equal number of install, uh, installation applications or uh, moving into live, uh, you know, get in, get out type applications? Uh, they're both. Uh, we are in a situation where, uh, dealing with the Super Bowl, for example, where there's a combination of tracks that are mixed with live and latency becomes an issue and we address that problem. With networked audio you have latency issues and with our system, it's a point-to-point -point system, uh, the entire latency, uh, including A to D and D to A, is about 1.2 milliseconds. So uh, the engineer who uh, mixes the Super Bowl actually came by, was playing guitar through the entire system, listening to the speakers at the ass end of the system, saying, wow, there's no latency. Nice, nice. So that's, but that's live application. Uh, also, we have TV production. Um, uh, there's a number of prominent TV shows that are quite interested in, in using this system. Can you talk a little bit about the signaling that uh, you're using to uh, control the uh, to control the, the either end of the product? Well, the whole idea is how do you control the remote control? Uh, there are a number of mic preamps out there uh, that are remote control, but as you adjust the gain. Uh, there are clicks, there are pops, there are explosions. There's a very popular one that has 3 dB steps that are adjusted by relays. So as you're adjusting the relays, you have these big explosions because they make before break or break before make, and uh, it's not acceptable. Uh, one of our applications, as I mentioned, was the ADR stage at Sony Pictures. And uh, he has three or four or five microphone set up, grouped, and with one knob he controls the game uh, without any clicks or pops. Uh, and he did such prominent movies as Zorro 2 and uh, Da Vinci Code. And he's working so quickly, uh, his comment was that he's working so quickly he's actually aging more slowly. And uh, are, are, are the users or engineers, uh, uh, the people that are on the, on, the, on, the, on the control room side of the equation, are they using a computer to control or are they uh, using some, uh, uh, some hardware or what are they using? Well, one of the advantages of this system is that it's MIDI protocol, so anything that talks MIDI can talk to our system. So we can control it via Mac, we can control it via PC, we can control it uh, hardware remote. And what we're showing at the show is that it's controllable directly from uh, Pro Tools. So uh, it's, it's, and then you can also control it at the same time from a number of controllers. So there's very uh, great flexibility. Well, uh, Marvin was, uh, wanted to show us the uh, back side of this, so let's go take a look. What we're showing is how the system works. So we have the output of a DI box running the guitar into a preamp. Into the preamp main in input. Part of the output, one of the outputs is the ADAT output. Eight channels. So each unit, eight channel unit, comes out with one ADAT. That ADAT output is only good for 10 to 15 feet. We take that and put it into the anaconda, one end of the anaconda up to eight of those, so it's 64 channels, 
take this and convert it to multi-mode. So we have 64 channels and control and clock all running through this. And then there's uh, dual redundant. So if the one side is cut, the other run takes over. And one of the advantages is on the other end of the snake is the same box, converts it to the output, but also you can, it's bi directional, so a signal can come back up to stage. So that's the whole system. Marvin, thanks so much. Sure, my pleasure. Thank you.